Welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver, everybody. I'm your host, Chris K R I S. And last we left off, I fought Red, the Pokemon Master of the previous game. How you doing, Mr. Pimp? How you doing, man? Everything okay? Yeah, he kicked my ass last time. Uh, so last time, yeah, he uh he kind of whooped me a little bit. And uh, at the end of that recording, I went off the Goldenrod to train a Hauntor. But I cut that out. You're not going to get to see it because it was basically... I, I lost one more time. Then I said, fuck it. I went off and started training a Haunter. But then I decided I'm not going to use Haunter. So there's no point in ever showing that uh, one little beatdown I, I received. Uh, you, you've seen about 20 of them, all right? So instead, I got a new... Well, I got kind of the same team. But uh, I have some uh, modifications, right? Uh, first off, we have Hitmonchan. The, the badass that uh, helped me out previously because he has all the good shit, man. He has the ice punch, the, the thunder punch, the close combat, and the fire punch. Second, we have Ashley. Pikachu! And uh, he, uh, she's level 67. I, I was thinking that was too weak for a second there, but it's all right. <laughs> there's like a moment if you go back and just listen. There's, there's a moment where I just completely freeze in my speech and go, Oh, shit to myself. Because I, I, I was totally, oh my god, am I 20 levels weaker than I'm supposed to be? But, he uh, she knows Thunderbolt and Thunder Wave. She did learn Thunder, which is complete trash. And I, I'm really annoyed by that. Especially having both of them on the one Pokemon while I was training was uh, very eye-opening. Like, you're thinking, oh yeah, Thunder misses sometimes. But you, you, don't, under you don't really, like, grasp at how much it misses. Until you run out of Thunderbolts while training and then start using Thunder. And you're just like, come on, man, do something. Um, uh, the reason I brought over uh, my, my sexy ass uh, Ashley and my Hitmonchan is because Indie Ball gets knocked out a lot. And it's, it's not Indie Ball's fault. It's just that this guy has a lot of really strong, annoying Pokemon. And... I need, I need to be able to take out Orke, uh, uh, Blastoid, so I need a, a Thunder Pokemon, right? So now we have not only Indy Bob and Ashley, but we also got Thunder Punch, which is going to be fantastic. Uh, another reason is I looked up Snorlax to see what his goddamn weaknesses were, and he has, uh, like, times four, uh, weakness against fighting Pokemon. So if I get close combat against Snorlax, then BOOM! I'm gonna kick that guy's ass. And then finally we have uh, Blue Waffle. I leveled up to 68. So he's on par with everyone else around here. Except he still has shitty stats. And I learned superpower uh, unknownst to me. I didn't think it was going to... I didn't know it was going to happen. But it's also a fighting move. And that's going to be uh, pretty interesting. 120 in power with 100% accuracy. However, the attack and defense drop drastically after I use it. I, d I guess it doesn't say drastically, but uh, that's enough of that. I am getting ready now to kick some serious booty. I honestly think today is the day, and this might even be, uh, I say it might be five matches. Uh, you know, warm up, get into the groove of this team, and we'll see how it goes. But uh, I'm pretty damn hype about this shit, man. And I'm sad, too. I, this is a game you want to play over and over again uh, with different teams. I want, I really annoyed I don't got my Needle King. You know, I want Needle King and Rapid Dash and Muck. Uh, if I ever play this game again, they're gonna be my my fucking team. Okay, Surf, Iron Tail. Come on, man. I oh wait, I actually fucked up something. If I lose this, I'll I'll do it. Uh, I won't tell you what it is till then though. All right, not very effective, my ass. I'm I'm half dead. Okay, that th that didn't happen last time. I I just kept kicking this guy's ass. No issue. You know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We got this. We got this. Okay, something's going on. Oh, earthquake. That was it. Earthquake. Yeah. I'm an idiot. And the snow killed me. Well, that was my fault. Rust. Like I said, you know, it's going to take about five tries. Get used to the team. Get the uh, get the, the, the rust off. It might have been only like two or three days. But at the same time, uh, you tend to forget the little details in life. Ah, uh, fire fang. As you can see, uh, Michael and the others are the exact same as they were when we last left off, I think. So it's not going to be any different in that regard. It's just a new team and Blue Waffle that, that has alterations. Hail. Come on, man. We got this. 
Michael. I I'm believing in you, dude. Oh, shit. Nice. Um, I wish Michael had some buffs. You know, if he had a couple of buffs, it'd be great. I was thinking of teaching him overdrive. Or, I think, I think is it overdrive? Overheat? Something like that? Uh, it, it, it fucks up your attack after you use it. Oh, come on. Nice. But, uh, oh, wait, he didn't use, he didn't use full restore. Oh, shit. Maybe because he was in orange and not red. Maybe there's like a certain percentage that red will only use it on. Okay. That's interesting. Maybe we can, like, strategize that a little bit. You know what I mean? Use a weak attack to get him halfway down and then, then fuck him up. Now, Blastoids. Like I said before, Blastoids is the tank. Blastoids is the Pokemon we have to, uh, we have to get past if we have hope of, of winning this match. You know, because this is the guy that's not there to kill you. He's just there to weaken you so you can't fight anybody else. He's the fucking Koga of Red Team. So, uh, I'm gonna go with Thunder Punch. Man, 84, come on, he's so powerful. The, the red team is so so much stronger. I will not go past like 70, 75 or something to, to fight this guy. I, I don't need to. I can kick his ass. I could kick his ass in the 60s if I, if I had the right team. Look at this. Holy shit. Man. This is why we got more than one electric type. Nice. Indie Bob. Come on. You got this. Oh, uh, Thunder. Fuck it. You know, I, I, I'm putting my fate in you, Indy Bob. Putting my fate. You, you did, you, you did well up to this point. Throughout the entire game, you've been a great asset. You're dead. All right. Well, I guess I didn't need to, to rely on that much because now I have. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Take some good damage out of that bastard. Excellent, Ashley. I wanna, I wanna keep my my fighting champion. Hey. <laughs> uh, 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 for for Snorlax. Thunderbolt. Yes! Oh, I was so worried that he's gonna get, uh, uh, what's it called? In first. Oh no, he lived! Oh shit! Blizzard, damn it. I wanted, I wanted to be known I have not taken Ashley because, you know, Ash's Pokemon, Red's Pokemon, nothing like that. Oh! That is not the reason. I just decided, uh, because he was the only electric type besides, um, Andy Bob that was, uh, useful to me. Uh, I have I have a couple, but those were the ones that were. Uh, she was the one that was closest in level. Shit. Um. Rock smash. Rock smash. I knew it. I knew it. I I was like, yeah, he's gonna do it. Okay, superpower. Focus blast missed. Nice. Now because he missed, is he still gonna have to recharge? It, it's only right if he does, right? It's only proper. Damn it! Defense fell. Okay, well this one's a bit of a a, a a mess. Okay, not too bad. If I switch you out, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Hitmonchan because we need to do something, man. And Hitmonchan's a badass. Come on, dude, you got this. Survive this hit, please, please. Put your gloves off, man. Put them up. Cover that face. I don't even know if you have a nose, but just just act like you do. Shit, dude. Man, you would suck as an opponent to Rocky. One punch and you're fucked up. Stupid ass full restore. Ah, uh, Thunder Punch. Fuck off! That is garbage. That is garbage. 100% trash. It's trash. So irritating. Michael. Fire Fang. Ah, fuck. Fuck! This, this, this prick! Every fucking time! Superpower! Again! Superpower! Nah, no, you're dead. Damn you! Damn! Okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do the thing I forgot to do last time. And hopefully, hopefully it's, uh, gonna help somewhat. It might. It might. But, uh, <clears throat> uh, what I'm going to do is very simple. I'm gonna use a Thunderstone and evolve Pikachu into a Raichu. So, that's gonna hopefully help me out a little bit. But first, let me, let me just look at his stats. I know, this is a crime against Pokemon. Right here. If Raichu didn't look like a fat asshole, it, it wouldn't be so bad. But, yeah, it, this is a crime. I wanna look at the stats, right? 84, 59, 114, 74, 203. Right. So. 
I'm not even gonna remember that. I just wanted to see it. I, I like making comparisons, so I'm gonna look at it later on in editing. Right, so, uh, here we go. Oh, what? Ashley's evolving. Does anybody remember why I called her Ashley? I have no idea. Oh, shit. This is the, I think this is the first time I've ever done this. What a crime. Oh, actually, you're not that, you're not that bad in this game. Right, chill. You're not that bad looking. I think you're kind of cute. Hey. Aw, I want to see what you look like out and about. And then I'll check your stats. Oh, look at the little thing. Look at little Raichu. Little Raichu. Oh, oh can, I, can I talk to you? Are you happy? What? Look down and surprised. Oh, shit, because you evolved. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Oh, that's I love that little addition. It's the little things in games that, that make me go, wow. Okay. So, that was awesome. Let's check the stats. I don't know if they went up a lot. Because like, I have already forgotten. I think that I think special attack was like at 154 or something last time. That would have totally have killed Blastoids, right? Damn. Ah, oh, skill. 4 out of 5. Stand at 4 out of 5. Right. 218. Uh, let's save it again. And, and then just kick some ass. Oh, Red, you, you fucked up, man. Wait, 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 wait. I want to check. You, I want to I wanna switch you out with Mackin so I don't have to do that every every reset. Right, now. Let's save it and whoop up. Excellent. <sighs> now remember, Earthquake. This time, we, we, we got it, man. We got it. You challenged Pokemon Trainer Red. Kanto League Master and all round bitch. No, no, we're gonna do it. Like, I've, I've really grown with Labia, man. I, I love Labia. Uh, uh, I think I like her more than Red. Right, Earthquake. No talk, just kill. Your Iron Tail's not gonna stop me, man. I'm sorry about that, but you're gonna have to fall. Yeah, you see, you see how much damage it did that time? Last time I went down to orange with one hit. That's some bullshit. Yeah, that, that's some wide range of of uh, guesswork right there with the numbers. Right, you kill it, kill it, kill it. Excellent. One down. So who's next? Venusaur. Michael, you're up. Outside of who ho how ho who how ho whatever his name is, Michael's my strongest fire type, uh, and I, I like I like him a lot. So we're definitely keeping him around. Oh, I also got. Hmm. Let's let's see something actually. Attack is 236. Right? What's fire punch gonna be then? 227. That's not bad. That's actually pretty close. But we'll, we'll stick with this. Sorry, Venusaur, you're dead, man. Ah oh, shit, fuck off, Indy Bob. You're just a poisonous little asshole. Come on. Don't don't fuck up. Don't fuck up. Don't fuck up. Don't don't yes! It's not the hit, it's the poison that 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 worries me. Because if I get poisoned, then my next several turns are fucked. Okay. See, now he's in orange. I'm not expecting him to use full restore. Hopefully. Oh, shit. Okay. So my, 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 my turn to, to attack. Sludge bomb. Okay. Live. At least live. Just live this one turn. Damn it. Okay. Well, good try, man. You, you, you did what you could, and uh, I'm proud of you. Now I have to figure out what I want to use next. Don't use full restore. Uh, I'm going to go with Hitmonchan and then switch him out. I have to. I have to. Uh, I, I don't have any other fire attacks. Fire punch, please. Fuck you. Asshole. And of course, I'm immediately damaged by this stu- I wonder if I brought an ice Pokemon up. Would I have been healthy and strong? Like, would I probably even g regain health? Shit! Please, just kill him. Come on. Come on. Damn it, man! Look at that! Yes! Okay, okay, okay. I might be injured, but uh, at least he's dead. Excellent, excellent. Uh, I really need you for Snorlax. Maybe, maybe I don't. I don't know. Charizard! Really? Okay. This is a first. Uh, Mackin. 
Here we go, Mac and oh shit! What's Charizard going to be like? Level 84, 85? I'm gonna say 86. 84, damn it! <laughs> hey Charizard, so you are the sixth Pokemon. No surprise, but I am surprised he's using you now. Sir! Earth Slash. Mac and you can take that, no problem. Come on. Stand your ground, girl! Stand your ground, yes! Yes! Oh shit! This is it! I can feel it! I can feel it! Man, you're so out of shape! Look at those skinny little arms and that big fat gut! Oh god, he survived that! Okay. Okay, uh... We still got... We still got, um... Uh, we in... Not Indie Bob, the other one. The, the, the blue waffle. Yeah. Uh, Google it. Uh, surf, one more time! Fire Blitz? The hell is that kind of move? Well, I know it's fire, but what's the damage output? Doesn't matter. We did what we needed to do. As long as he doesn't use full restore, we should be okay. I love the color scheme of Charizard's wings and his body. It looks really nice. Okay, blue waffle. That goddamn uh, Blastoids, man. Air slash, nice. Now you're level 68 this time. Survive this. Come on, dude. Survive this. Survive this. You're worthless! You're so shit! Nice! Uh, I take back everything I said if you kill Charizard! <laughs> He's so bad! Oh, what a starter Pokemon to have! Yes! Charizard's dead! Oh, shit! That, that, was, that was really, really uh, good. I was gonna say lucky, but no, I, I'm prepared for this shit, man. Uh, I, I've, been, I've been training the last two days. Nice! Blastoids. I'm gonna, I'm, you know, we may as well keep them. Get some damage out. Okay. He's going to use... He's going to use Blizzard. So who cares? Focus Blast. He's going to have to re-energize re, uh, after this. Right? He's going to have to regain uh, some sta stamina. Shit. Okay. And now he's injured. Who do I want to use? Uh, Ashley. Let's, che let's check out what uh, Thunderbolt's like. With, uh, with uh, Raichu. Oh, you're not gonna wave at me anymore? Oh, that sucks. Okay, Thunderbolt. One hit kill, one hit kill. Come on, one hit kill. I got this. I believe in you, Ashley. You got this, girl. You got this. No. Oh, but it's okay. He's not gonna use full restore. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Please survive this attack. Nice. No, I'm frozen. Damn it! Maybe... So, if I lose this, I'll know next time to maybe use Thunder Wave. Because I can't kill him in one hit. Okay, Thunderbolt, please! Yes! Yes! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! That was amazing! Oh, yeah! Ashley is one of the rare Pokemon who doesn't get her ass kicked in her first fight upon uh, evolving or being captured. So that's, that's fantastic. Hail continues to fall. Okay, just survive one more round. Just one more. Snorlax. Uh, I'm going to keep battling. So the last one is Lapras. Uh, what do I want to use? Maybe I should use Thunder Wave. And paralyze him. That might be the best. Okay. Who do we got left? Who do we have left? Indie Bob Hitmonchan. That's not good. I'm going to use Thunder Wave. We can't kill him in one hit. But we might be able to stop him from kicking our asses. Right. So. Fucked you up. And he still fucked me up. Alright, alright. What is it with everybody having, having Blizzard? If you come up here with a bunch of ice Pokemon, you're probably going to win. You know? Well, just a bunch of ice... Or a bunch of Pokemon... Uh, ice Pokemon that also know different types of moves. Right. Well, here we go. What's it called? Combat uppercut or something? Close combat. Please. Yes! Please be the four times damage I read. I, I, I hope I didn't misread that shit. Come on. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Please be crippled if you're not dead. <laughs> oh, come on. I really hate this freak. Yes! Oh, shit. I just hit my microphone. <laughs> nice. Now, what the hell is Ice weak against? I'm just going to use close combat again. I, I, I really... There's, there's nothing else I can think of. 
Survive! Ah, oh, shit. Thunder? Maybe I should use Thunder? Maybe I should use Thunder. Uh, let me check. Let me check. I don't know what ice is weak against. Shut up. I'm trying to list my shit. Uh, no. No, get that fucking... Uh, 75 in power. 120 in power. It also cuts the user's defense and special defense. Uh, who cares about that? I'm near dead. Uh, see, which would be better? 120? Or 75? But... Fire's not good against... Oh, man. I don't know! We've had this conversation a million times! Why don't I remember? Close combat! Okay, I don't care. It's, it's a practice round. <laughs> we got this. We got this. Keep going. Oh, this is so great. This is so great. Oh, yes. No. The, the weather. Indy Bob. Indy Bob. If he doesn't use his fucking bullshit. If, 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 if he doesn't use a fucking HP uh, remix garbage or whatever that is. Restore. Kill it. Kill it. How come that? Oh, yeah. Fucking ice. Great. Well, we're not going to win this fight. Thunder Punch. Fucking asshole. But we will get to see what Thunder Punch does. Come on. This is so bullshit. No wonder he has Lapras. Makes sense. Makes... Uh, God damn, you're so dirty. The dirty little fuck. Yeah. Close combat was the, the better choice of the two. God damn, man. What did I use? I used Thunder by mistake, but I hit. Yeah, I just clicked really quickly. Oh, shit. Kill it. Kill it. Come on, Indy Bomb. Be the one to defeat Mr. Pip. Yeah. <laughs> I did it. I did it. Indy Bomb comes true and saves the day. I was going to change you out, dude. <gasps> I beat Mr. Pimp. Excellent. Yeah, that's right. What do you got to say? Oh, wait, what? 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 Where'd he go? He prick didn't even talk to me. Mr. Pimp. All right. Well, I guess he's never been the talkative type. I mean, unless you count me as Mr. Pimp in yellow, then I ran my mouth on everybody. I beat the game. It's over. Oh, shit. There has... Is that it? Is okay, okay. If I don't fi if I don't get any notifications or like hints that there's more to do after this, um, tell me in the comments if there's like one or two final things. If not, this is the end of Pokemon Soul Silver. This is it. It's all done. Oh, there's Lavia. <laughs> I love Lavia. Like it's totally because of the stories we were making up. For hey, where did Red Anus go? He kind of turned over a new leaf, didn't he? Uh, it's more so to do with the stories we made up and filling in the backstory and um, and uh, creating our own little world with her. And I like that. I like that a lot. So, you know, Lavia, Lavia is pretty damn cool. She is someone who, in canon to this fucking game, not, not the shit I made up, in canon, this game has bullshit story. You you do a fucking errand for the for the the professor next door, and then he tells you to go be a Pokemon trainer, and you're just like, yeah, whatever, okay. No indication that she ever wanted to be a trainer before. It's just like, hey, here's some Pokeballs. Fuck off. All right. <laughs> Yo, Mr. Pimp, Red, Blue, whoever, they're always like, they were like, yeah, I can't wait till I'm 10 years old. I want to be a Pokemon trainer. You know, they they spent their life waiting for that moment. Lavia got out of bed, just helped out the neighbor and said, Okay, mom, uh, yeah, they, ne they want me to leave town next door. And my only friend, Ethan, or whatever his name is, wants to go be a trainer. So we're not going to be hanging out. So I may as well leave too, you know? So so she just went off and she defeated the last re uh, remaining members of Team Rocket. And then she won the Pokemon League. And then she beat everybody's ass in Kanto. Then she won the league again. And then she found Mr. Pimp, the guy who destroyed Team Rocket. The guy who beat everybody like they were nothing. And she beat him in a fight? What the 
fuck? What? What the fuck? <laughs> That's so strange. It's so. It makes no sense. But man, I loved Lavia. Lavia was awesome character to play as. Awesome character. Hey Lance. Lance was a scrub. Yeah. You know, Lance is. Lance's problem was his addiction to one type of Pokemon. In fact, that's most trainers' problems. All the strong trainers, they're, they're addicted to one type of Pokemon at their downfall. I'd love to play a Pokemon game where every gym leader, at least, is like, No, fuck you, I'm awesome. The end! And they just throw everything they can get they, they can at you. Like if Brock had, like, lightning Pokemon and, and, and water types and stuff, that'd be awesome, you know? Uh, do I have to press the button? Music. I'm gonna press the button. There we go. Is that really all it all all of it? Is that it? No, that can't be it. There's nothing different here. Damn. Four hundred and seventy six hours. Hey. Do I have something in my hand? Oh, my bag. Um, hold on. We're all healed up. Blue Waffle. Hey, Blue Waffle. Hey, you know, you know what's also interesting about this? Blue Waffle was was wasn't the be the best fighter, even though he's my starter Pokemon and stuff. I I felt even though he wasn't the best, he was unique in that aspect. You know what I mean? Hi, welcome home. You're doing fine, I see. I kept your tight. What the fuck? You fuck off! You, you worthless. She only cares about my money. Hey, are you new? Hey, well, fuck. Okay, let's take a photo. <laughs> <laughs> All right then, get yourselves ready. Yay! There's the team that beat red. Good, good. We've got a nice picture. Thank you. Uh, we're not done though. We have, we have that other, other fucking, isn't there like, there's other legendaries, right? There's, there's other legendaries in the game. I'm not getting him. He can go fuck himself. And this one can go fuck himself too. But there's, the ones from Ruby, weren't they meant to be in this game? I, I think maybe they're only true events. I know that Celebi or whatever is over here in this forest. Elix Forest. And that was only true in an event. So I can't get that either. I guess this might be it. This might be the end of the game. Hey, do you have any quests for me or is this it? Lady, I'm truly surprised. I can't believe that such a great trainer has been so close by all this time. Lavia, you have been helping me understand what it means to walk with Pokemon. It is that there is no end to the relationship between people and Pokemon. Let me thank you once again for your support. How about you? The one who took it, I mean the red-haired boy, ca uh, came up with the Pokemon. But I saw his face as he passed me by. He looked so happy. Ah! 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 She made fucking progress! Character progress! Hey, you want a nice ass? Hey, your poker gear is impressive. Thanks, I guess. Right, so, um, I'm gonna count this as the official end of Pokemon Soul Silver. I will probably come back to this game in the future for one or two little bits. Uh, there is extra content in this game, and, um, and, uh, it, it's, it's, there's, there's, you know, there's like the fucking tournament or whatever that was over there. You're able to fight this one tournament where you have to go through like a hundred opponents. And at the end of it, there's this girl who, like, kicks your ass. I'm not saying I'll do that, but maybe someday it might be interesting to at least try it. But for all intent and purposes, this is the final episode of of the walkthrough, of the playthrough. And anything I, I might post after this will uh, only be for funsies. Don't count it as anything. You know, this is the end of Pokemon Soul Silver. So, uh, let's talk about this. The rest of this is going to be a minor review, like I do with every video game I play and finish when the credits are rolling. So, if you 
if you want any more gameplay, nothing else is going to happen in this video except for me talking while standing still here. Uh, so, uh, you can like that, uh, hit that like button and, and fuck off. <laughs> but, uh, for the rest of you that want to know my thoughts on this game, uh, let me think for a second. Okay, I thought it over, I uh, came up with a few pros and cons in my little head uh, over my opinion of this game now that I've bought 470 something hours into it. Um, overall, I think this game is definitely worth playing. It is one of the more fun and addictive games you can play out there, which is why Pokemon is so popular. And, uh, you know, I think it's, I think it's, a, I think it's a, a fun time to be had. Um, Let's start with, we'll start with the pros first and then we'll go to the cons. Although that'd be kind of leaving the video in a negative way. We'll start off with some of the pros first and then we'll go to the cons. Uh, what did I like about this game? I enjoyed the art style and the music and I loved that the characters would walk around together like the Pokemon sprites would be behind you. I hear that's not in the future games and that's a shame but in this game it's uh... It's pretty beautiful, dude. Seeing, seeing Lugia and stuff fly behind you, you know, tickling your ear or something. He's like, hey, 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 none of that now. <laughs> you know? Um, I loved the cities. Every single city in this game I found gorgeous, especially Ikrutik City, which looked like a lovely place to live. Uh, Goldenrod, which uh, had a gorgeous-ass uh, color scheme to it. Uh, Olivine City, or Olivine City. Uh, looked like a, a nice place, kind of windy. This place looks windy too. Uh, I probably wouldn't want to live here. Uh, but yeah, I think Johto had a lot of beautiful places. Even Blackthorn and the Safari Zone's new location was also great. I had a lot of time, a lot of fun exploring that region, climbing the mountain and stuff. Uh, did I like the characters? I enjoyed a lot of the characters. The new gym leaders were great. The, the, I love the differences between the personalities despite, you know, only briefly talking to them. Um, Claire and Whitney, for instance, were very two different people. And you could tell from just the little, the, the, the little dialogue boxes you got, which was very surprising to me because Claire's personality was so different to how she looked and her position of power. You know, uh, she was extremely immature and uh, whiny for somebody that that looked so dominant, you know, and someone that had such a, a, a reputation to her. Uh, it was very strange, but that's not a negative. That's just something that uh, caught me off guard and I enjoyed. So seeing all the differences, and I loved Whitney. I loved Whitney uh, and uh, the girl in the lighthouse, uh, Justine. Um, Seeing all the differences between the, between several of them were really good. I definitely think the girl characters were written better than the male characters. Uh, like Bugsy and Falconer and stuff. They kind of just disappear once you beat them. They have no uh, story outside of just being the first ones you fight. But uh, again, most most of them I thought were really good. Uh, Red Anus is, um, isn't as good as Blue. But I am happy with how it turned out in the end. I'd like to talk and be him one more time actually. Maybe maybe you can, I don't know. Uh, fill me in if that is true. But uh, I enjoyed that little dialogue we got there with the dude inside of Elm's uh, uh, office. His, his scientist room of, of a mystery. Uh, explaining that, you know, we seen Red Ains walk by and he was smiling. So that's, that's really cool. I like that a lot. Seeing all the new Pokemon were cool. I definitely have to take back what I said uh, years ago that that anything outside of the original 150 is ugly. Uh, that is not true. There's a lot of beautiful uh, Pokemon in this game, and um, uh, I don't I don't even know what generations they're from, but there's definitely a number from every generation that I've looked at and went, "Damn, that is gorgeous." So. <sighs> Damn. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, this game had a, a lot of uh, positivity to it. I really enjoyed that. It's a very bright and sunny game, and it reminds it reminds me a little of Minecraft before Minecraft changed its color scheme with the 1.8 update, the adventure update in like 2012, where they made all the grass outside my house a dimmer color, 
And, it, it, like, that killed Minecraft for me. You know, that's what killed Minecraft when they changed the color scheme. Nothing else. Just, when I walked outside my front door and everything was a, a duller color, it, it ruined the, the sense of life and fun for me. And I, I didn't play the game anymore. So, this game is gorgeous. Gorgeous. And... Uh, a lot of fun characters, beautiful cities, and uh, the the fighting the fighting has definitely improved, uh, more balanced, more um, involved. I feel, and overall, I think the game is a step up in terms of gameplay in every direction over Generation One. You know, so I'm very happy with that, and I had a lot of fun. Um, I do have cons though, and I guess they're pretty significant, at least for me. Um, the the map is nowhere near as good in Johto as it is in Kanto. Everything is to the left. If you go into the map and you just look at it, and you get this sense while you're playing it, it's not just something you see on the map. Um, all all this is is very disjointed I feel especially down this part like this is a part of the map you never want to go to again you know it's like once you get to it you're like ugh let's just get out of here and then up here is really where the connection is but all this is just forgettable and then the the cut off here is a cliff and it's and there's many of them along here that you have to if you don't got a flying Pokemon uh, you're screwed you have to walk all the way back around which doesn't happen because you will have fly but you know what I mean, it's just, it's very disjointed and I'm not a fan of that. I don't think the map was as good as the original Kanto. Whereas if you look at this, the only disjoint is around the beginning and and down here, which is more end game. You know, Cinnabar Island, the second last, the second last uh, gym. And all the middle is, is just beautifully connected. It's gorgeous. You got the, this is a big ass road that's just, you know, uh, a bike lane you just go down it and you're there you know it's, it's a lot of fun easy to enjoy this is connected saffron city is connected to everything so i think it was definitely a, a a downgrade in terms of map design but the cities themselves were gorgeous so it doesn't take a, a too much away from it but uh you know it, it's it's uh it's not as good um the other issue i have with the game is that there's no pokemon in it I've probably seen about 300 Pokemon, but I feel like I seen more repeats than I did anything else. And if I have, to, if I have to really say it, I think, I think uh, going off memory, I felt like there was more variation in what I seen in Pokemon Yellow than there was in this. Now that might be crazy to say, because you will see a lot of the same types. But with out of 150 Pokemon. I felt like I seen more variations than I did at times with this game. Uh, early on, we were messing around, uh, joking about seeing all the Rattata. But at the end of the day, that that's not so much a joke when there's more Pokemon in the game than ever before. I think there's like 450 or something in this game. Uh, 477 Pokemon in this game. And is that the last Pokemon? Is that a rare Pokemon or something? I don't even know what that is. There's probably more. I, I, don't, I don't even know if there's like more legendary. Oh, of course there's more legendaries in this game. We haven't even caught half of them, right? Uh, some of them you can only get through events. So um, I feel like with with Pokemon uh, Soul Silver, we've seen so much. Probably all of the 150, right? Almost. There's like one or two missing. And then you go to the second generation. And there's like gaps. See the big gaps start they start popping up. And and there it is. It's like done already. It's like the second generation's filled in so quickly. And in the third generation, all these gaps, man. Like, what's what's all this? You know, where where how come I didn't see these Pokemon? And then you, you throw in the fact that these Pokemon I'm looking at here were only used like this gorgeous one I wanted were only used by gym leaders in rematches. You know, so this is this is crazy that this this is a, this is the legendary I didn't catch. This is crazy that these Pokemon I never seen. And the vast majority majority of them you only see once or twice by by gym leaders like him. You know, the the fucking ice dude. 
So it's it's wild. That guy freaked me out, man. That that thing, this yoke, Jesus, man, wild. But uh, yeah, all these like every everything's missing. So uh, I definitely feel out of the 150 in yellow, I seen more to the world than I seen in this game, and that that's definitely a drawback. Uh, but if I had to say my biggest drawback in this game would be the fact that <laughs> would be the fact that the plot disappeared and was finished by time you finished Goldenrod City. Am I right? Am I misremembering that? You go to Goldenrod, you defeat Team Rocket, you go upstairs and that's it. It's done. Like, it's finished. The rest of the game is just beating bosses. Uh, and I, as someone who likes plot in his games, um, I still enjoy um, Pokemon Yellow more than I do this. I think because it's more of plot focused. Every every area you go to nearly either has hints at Team Rocket or something going down, or it straight up has you fighting against Team Rocket and and going through those events. Like, the last gym leader in yellow is Giovanni, the leader at Team Rocket. After Jim, after Giovanni is the Elite Four and the game's done. Game over, you know? This game, after you beat the main bad guys, you have to play through the rest of Johto. You have to play through all of Kanto. And, and that's like a, a dozen more hours in the game so the story finishes long before that and I don't start I don't count red anus's story as as a um, a plot that's just his own character arc that we see every now and then same goes for Lance and what he's doing and mr. pimp just shows up at the end as a kind of extra bonus hey I'm still around kind of deal so the story disappeared and that was really hurtful you know I was like ouch I I'd love I wanted that extended a lot more. Um, I did. I I said this a long time ago. I didn't become a fan of Pokemon through the games. I didn't even know the games were a thing. I became a fan of Pokemon through the trading cards. Uh, my mother was babysitting a six-year-old, and he said, "Here, here, I have doubles of these Pokemon cards. Do you want them?" And I said, "Sure thing." And then he gave them to me. And I thought they were kind of cool. So then I watched the anime, and I became a big fan of the anime. And then later, I played Pokemon Red and then Yellow. So, so I I don't have nostalgia for Pokemon games. I don't have any nostalgia. Um, my, my nostalgia is watching uh, Ash try to get his hat back from Mankey, you know? Or Misty doing the, the swimming pool thing with Seal. You know, or seeing Mewtwo for the first time kick the crap out of Gary Oak. <laughs> you know, that that's my nostalgia. So, for me, I need a good plot, I need a good story, and I need a reason why I exist in this world. But, on the other hand, as an addictive handheld pocket monster, which is the essence, it is very strong and very fun to play. And that's why I I would recommend this game to anybody that uh, wants even a side game to play when they're bored or when they have time to kill or they just feel like they just want to kick something's ass or just raise monsters. And for me, that's where I'd love to see Pokemon go. Uh, full on uh, full on 3D world with uh, strong emphasis on side content being breeding and raising Pokemon and not so much the useless stuff like this game had a lot of um, side content and items that I felt were not needed like the item finder and the, the fishing rod is trash man even the super rod you're still getting magic carp you know what I mean so uh, there's a lot of like little things and the, the, the stadium whatever that was uh, we were able to fight that chick at level 100 or something and I had all the different character uh, sprites that I wish were everywhere else um, take out that put in like a full on kind of monster raisin system uh, more fleshed out less grindy 
but more uh more nurturing i guess you know less less like a video game where you're looking at points and more like uh maybe uh you have to get the pokemon a certain diet maybe you have to get them uh, a certain bedtime you know maybe you have to bring pokemon out by the waterfall to to heal them because they got hurt in a landslide or something or maybe they just like the waterfall and it makes them happier and happier pokemon produce uh more points in their attributes you know stuff like that i'd find as a really great side content to the main plot um uh, like raising chocobos or chocobos in final fantasy 7 to get the golden chocobo that'd be pretty cool you know that kind of stuff um less grindy more work but variations of work and don't have it as a need have it as something that's there so you can really enjoy it i think that'd be very cool so uh, yeah I, I do have some major negatives with this game and i think pokemon yellow is still a better game than soul silver uh i will play future pokemon games and i'm so excited to actually uh do that uh i'd like to know if it'd be better to play the next game in the chronicle series timeline like um uh, the remake of ruby or should i just start skipping them um not that i'm looking for them to be all joined at the hip in terms of story but more so uh, is, is it good for the overall world like if i if i play ruby next or whatever the best version of ruby like uh sapphire or something the third game like yellow whatever the yellow version of ruby is um uh if i skipped that and i went on to the ne uh, the fourth generation would i miss out on like a, a guy called toby going hey it's me i'm toby uh i'm awesome bye like what would i miss out on a character like that if that's true then i like to play the direct next so um uh the, the last seven sentences from me have been a, a jumbled mumbled mess but uh uh you you know what i mean man you know what i mean shit uh, i'm looking forward to playing more pokemon games i'm going to confirm whether or not i do indeed truly love pokemon red and yellow more than soul silver by replaying the the originals but i think i'm going to play the remake of red instead in my own time i'm probably not going to record that i'm i think it might make a good stream at some point but i have no interest in spending two years on another pokemon game <laughs> um so the faster i get through it the better uh so yeah overall uh this is a great fun little title it has issues that i think they shouldn't have and i don't think it's as good as pokemon red and yellow but i do think it is definitely worth your time and i want to say that uh um this game definitely has some pokemon that i didn't think i loved that i really do love and i stand by uh whooper or whatever her name is having the best where is it at having the best cry it is adorable where, where's whooper at go hey get get the f get out get it get out of here it's so nice man it's so nice there she is where's that i'll never forgive mackin for making me evolver Ah, oh, it's so cute it's so cute but uh i've been your host chris k-r-i-s and this is the end of pokemon soul silver uh, i hope you enjoyed it i might do some extra content someday but uh i did say i'd do the extra content of yellow and i ended up losing that data so you never know so expect a no but uh, be pleasantly surprised or whatever someday. Who knows? And uh, I will do another Pokemon game. Probably dire the direct sequel to Silver. And um, yeah. Overall, I, I really enjoyed it. And I'm very happy. Kanto really saved the game. If this was just Johto, it'd be fucked. And all the extra content post-game was amazing. Oh, man. Fighting the gym leaders. Oh, dude. That was that was so good. Seeing all those new Pokemon and and getting my ass kicked. Oh, uh, fighting Red. Red Red was an amazing fight. 
I don't know if he's my favorite fight in the game, but he was an amazing fight. Probably is my favorite fight in the game. Not because it's Mr. Pimp, but because it was me full health fighting somebody on full health, and he really gave it to me. So that was badass. Um, but yeah, uh, I also know that Mr. Pimp is in black and white. So in case in case anybody's like, oh, I can't wait till Chris eventually gets to black and white. He's gonna be so surprised when Red shows up again. No, I know he's in black and white. I, I know you fight him in black and white too. So uh, uh, don't forget that. I don't, in three years when you're on Twitch going, oh, oh, has he met him yet? I know who you're talking about. <laughs> uh, but I love you all and uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I think it's black and white. It might be something else. I think it's black and white. But I'll see you all later. And don't, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Or more importantly, subscribe on Patreon. Because that's the backbone of this channel. And uh, keeps me afloat. So that would be extremely helpful. And you know what you should do now? You should go back to episode 1 and watch everything from the start again. Yeah. Bye. Enjoy your day.